Welcome back to and this guides in today's video we are going to show you how to fix blue tint screen on Windows 10. Let's begin. Now the first thing you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in Microsoft click the create one option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Now if your Windows 10 has a blue screen tint or appears overly blue it can be quite disconcerting right but of course there are several steps you can take to troubleshoot and potentially fix this issue right now let me tell you that windows 10 has a feature called nightlight that reduces blue light emission from the screen which can help reduce eye strain especially at night sometimes this feature i believe might be enabled unintentionally or set to an extreme level causing a noticeable blue tint during a day now what i wanted to do is go to your start menu right here and press the window button plus i option And what will happen is you would be forwarded to the uh, system and display all right i need you to go to that and of course from here what you need to do is now i need you to toggle off the night light settings all right and then after that you need to adjust the color temperature settings because windows 10 right here allows you to adjust the color temperature of your display manually sometimes incorrect uh, color temperature settings can cause a blue tint what you need to do is go to uh, the advanced option right here advanced display settings and go to uh, the click on the color calibration if that's available and display adapter properties for display one and then try to restart to your computer to see if that work now the next option that you can do is make sure that you have the updated graphics drivers because as we all know outdated or corrupted graphics drivers can sometimes cause display issues including color tint problems and from here all they have to do is go to the manufacturer's website if you're using amd or intel in my case i am using nvidia so i went here at the ge force experience all i have to do from here is get the game ready drivers or studio drivers download restart my computer to see if that works now the next option that i could do from here is simply contact the microsoft support if i believe that i need a technical assistance in this case and that's going to be the uh, windows 10 and i believe that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next video